Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss one very interesting and very very important thing in image processing that is negative of an image okay but that I will show you with one application right so in my previous video I have discussed several application of morphological operation in image processing specially based on erosion and dilation so let me show you one particular image okay so suppose I am having this particular image now see there are two types of circle one is of bigger size and another is of smaller size now I am asking you remove all the smaller size circles okay so what you will do you can apply erosion technique because erosion shrinks one particular part of the object which will not fit so we will be taking disc structuring element because this is one circular shape so what we will do we will perform disc structuring element on this and we will choose the radius of the disc such that it will be more than the smaller circles but larger than the bigger circles so as a result the larger circles or bigger circles will fit and the smaller circles will not fit so as a result they will go away right and then as the bigger circles also will shrink by a amount due to application of erosion again we will perform dilation using the same structuring element to get back the original size that's all so here i have written the same code clc clear all close all warning off i am reading that image then i am show i for the time being let me remove this then the structuring element i am taking of disc 7 sorry radius 7 then performing erosion and then dilation then i am show pair i comma g then montage to show adjacent images okay input and output see the problem we should get the output but no we are not getting the output and we are getting some distorted shape why this is happening the reason in this case erosion is not working because from the beginning discussion itself i have told you that in case of morphological operation we consider the white as our object and black as background but in this case black is actually object that is circular shapes on which we want to apply erosion and white is background okay that is the reverse thing is happening so in this kind of case what you should do try to understand so basically our requirement is white as object black as background but we are having black as object white as background just reverse thing so in this case we can take negative of an image and we can basically perform erosion and dilation and we can get our required result because negative means always we subtract the particular intensity from 255 that is whatever is higher intensity that will map to very low intensity and which is having very low intensity that will map to very high intensity that is black will become white white will become black right so what we can do see here i am reading the image right so after that in this particular line what i will do i equal to i sorry 255 minus i okay so this is the code for need to uh, take negative of an image subtract from 255 because 255 is the maximum value possible right so i can show you the image also let me just write here let me give the name here i1 for the time being so i comma i1 if i now run this particular code you can understand what is the negative of an image see this is the negative of an image black became white white became black okay now we are good to go to apply morphological operation on this if we apply erosion this white this object small white objects will not fit but the uh, bigger white objects will fit but they will also shrink so we can perform dilation again to get back their original size right so i can remove this particular line for the time being and i will just that line for taking the negative of an image so if we run control a and evaluate selection i will be having my output like this where these bigger white objects are detected all the smaller white objects are removed but this is actually not our original image we have basically this is complemented form so again we will take complement of this output to get the original one okay so this one we will write 255 minus i m dilate and let me just store this in some variable x equal to i i am writing so x is our original image so if i write i am show pair x and g montage see 
we got our output okay this was our original image which we have taken in the starting part where black was object and white was background output also getting the same but only larger black objects are detected so this is one of the very very important application of taking negative of an image there is inbuilt function in matlab that is im complement okay im complement okay so i will provide the documentation link in the description box you go to that link and explore about this particular function more okay let me show you this whether we are getting same output or not see using im complement also we are getting the same result right so i hope you have understood this this is all for my this video thank you for watching